is a big difference between the east and the west coast of uh, Sardinia. Ah, okay. The east coast is uh, more touristically orientated. The west is more wild, as you can see. Uh, this was very good here. I met a German guy. He also stopped here exactly like me for the view. So we got a wonderful conversation. And now I think I'm ready to go back on the road and maybe after 50 kilometers stop and got one, one espresso. This will be my goal for the next hour or so. If I find one, the coffee addiction is fixed. Let's continue now my trip. SS 125 is split it to two different roads. They both going to Cagliari, but the one that I took is just more like a normal road, going closer to the coast and not that much traffic. The one on the top is more like a highway, and all the traffic went there. So I prefer to take this and ride with more peace and comfort. As you can see, absolutely empty road, temperature dropped to 28 degrees. It will cross a few small villages. This is now Porto Corallo. The end of this, this part. Some well beach here. beach part okay I saw the beach let's go back now direction Cagliari when I saw the beach I decided that it might be a good idea just to jump and enjoy my time but uh, tonight I might need to spend it in the tent and when you don't have access to shower to wash your body from the salty water it's not really a good idea to spend the night with the salt it's really itching and tomorrow I might have some infections
Cagliari, 50 kilometers. I got 20 minutes break here on this coffee. These breaks are necessary in this hot weather. Otherwise, you will exhaust yourself very fast. I found one camping spot on around 150 kilometers from here. So I plan to spend the night over there. It should be uh, at the edge. Sea should be visible. You can see the temperature. This is what it was outside. But here inside is at least 5 degrees lower. If the tunnel is long enough, I'll be able to get some cool air through my ventilation. And then when I go out, woof, the heat again. But it is what it is. Here I'm gonna turn right direction west coast. The camping that I told you. I have zero interest to go to Cagliari, big town, nothing to do there. So definitely go into the west. Geremeas. Geremeas was the name. It's again 34. Oh. Ah, this is now a beautiful road. And beautiful colors of the sea. When you see a beautiful road, of course, a lot of motorcycle riders. can feel the, the breeze from the sea it's a bit better now I've got this very strange road through some kind of villages and backyards I hope the GPS is right because I have to trust it now. Uh, I hope it will make me a connection with the road that I would like to go. I don't really like this to be guided from the GPS, but I don't have any options at the moment. Oh god, it was like a shortcut to avoid the town. Alright, this was good. I can tell you that uh, now the right it's not a pleasure anymore it is 33 degrees it is straight road I still have like 100 kilometers to cover I am tired I am hot but I just need to get there it is 3 o'clock and best scenario I'll be there like 4 o'clock and I can relax with the rest of the afternoon and then in the evening so for me to stop now this won't help much I will just do it and then stop this is the first nice road since two hours this will be maybe the last town where I can get some products for tonight so maybe draw some money buy products water food everything i need nothing to buy in this town okay i'm gonna improvise or so we'll check some of the next places at least finally i've got some nice road
so today I've got like 420-30 kilometers and I still got like 20 kilometers to my final destination and I just want to get it I have a ass pain at least the last 20 kilometers uh, as you can see wonderful road so I can enjoy it why I did it? because I can This was the camping. Let's see what is the situation here. They've got everything that I need. Washing machine, power. I can open my tent, but I need to go to the first town to get some cash. And then all good. Ah, this is the town of Bucharo. Very nice. I got money. I cannot find supermarket. They were all closed. At least I ate something. And maybe in this camping, they will have something to eat in the shop or bar or whatever they've got there. I'm ready to go back, drop these clothes because I really need to wash everything and relax okay so here is the shower i'm gonna take a shower here i can to find a spot to open my tent morning 20 to 7 I woke up at 5 o'clock and because this office here will open at 8 8 30 they say I just left them the money here on the door and we'll go mm. I felt really tired last night I have a headache I don't know, probably I got too many kilometers but today is much better so I went to sleep like 8 o'clock in the tent and of course uh, I slept for many 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 hours and I feel much better today let's go to right now and see the rest of Sardinia I cannot get enough from here. I cannot get enough. As you can see, the road is just excellent. A lot of twists, perfect asphalt. I cannot complain at all. What time it is? 8 o'clock. I've got like uh, 200 kilometers to cover today, which is fine. I'm not on rush, so I'm gonna stop more often. Yesterday it looks like I got overheated or I don't know I feel really bad in the evening I got this small road direction to the west coast goes through the forest 28 degrees in Gurtozo in Gurtozo Looks like most of the houses are abandoned. Church, okay. So 160 meters, turn left. should be my left
I really doubt that they're gonna have a petrol station here, but who knows, they might have. Here is like not populated at all. Most of the houses are abandoned. The villages are very small, except a few uh, very famous places. This is what I was talking about, abandoned houses. Looks like abandoned village. Here even the, the road changed. There is a big difference between the east and the west coast of uh, Sardinia. Ah, okay. The east coast is uh, more touristically orientated. The west is more wild, as you can see. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a huge difference. If you if you want to be on the places with perfect asphalt roads and a lot of hotels and bars and restaurants everywhere, definitely the east. If you want to enjoy some dirt roads or more wild areas, west is the place. So hmm, it's a it's a really good mix of everything, I would say. You see, even uh, hill climbing now. Wonderful. <laughs> 